okay. This part. The which which part then? Um, the first. I can see. In the exercise, we need to use uh, uh -huh. the double B H question. W H questions. Uh, uh -huh. If whether by here question words. Uh huh. Okay. Hi everyone. At the end of this class, you'll learn how to. Okay. Did you watch the video? Yes. Okay. So. Okay, so there we can see, right, that we have the original question, that the, we have the different types of questions that can be made, okay? Saying, can you ask, we added, can you ask, as I mentioned, let me highlight that okay. in a particular color. I'm going to go ahead and choose yellow this time. Okay. So you see the, the WH question is when normally it would be when does the party start, right? Mm -hmm. yes. This is the normal. So uh, let me put in the chat so that it's clear. Okay. So normally you ask a question. Okay. Mm -hmm. When does the party start okay now if i make indirect questions i put the same idea but i put can you ask katie could you ask Katie? Uh, and remember, it, those are the two that are very common for the indirect questions. Those are the ones that we're going to use. And then you are going to eliminate the auxiliary verb because it's not necessary the auxiliary. So the auxiliary do, does, is, are, okay? These we, we, we don't use in the indirect question because we already use at the beginning. Could you, can you? We already asked with the modal verbs at the beginning. Okay. Okay. So that's why. One moment. Let me put one more time. Hang on. Let me share my screen with you one more time. But in the first exercise, uh, I don't know. I don't understand. Here. In the one exercise. Uh, uh -huh, yes. In number one, how many friends I can bring to his pie? So, um, hey, I have a problem. <laughs> Okay, so you you want to ask Tony, okay? How can, many friends? Okay. Can you ask Tony? Exactly. Okay. Let me see. Can you ask? Can you? Did you try it? Ask Tony. Yes, I tried. Yeah. Tony. How many in the party? Uh -huh. Let me see. Uh, so, and the um, answer is, can you answer, Tony, how many friends can I breathe to the party? And what are you going to write? In the space, what are you going to write, Leah? In the 
space. Ask. What do you, what do you write? I don't know. Okay. So, hang on. And you ask Tony how it. many Here. In, okay. Yeah, in, in this space, what are you going to write? Can ask you. Okay. Can ask. No. I don't know. <laughs> You already said the answer. What, what I, I you you said the answer like three times. What are you going to write now? Give me one moment. I'm trying again. Put in the chat the answer if you want. That way you don't confuse. Put in the chat what are you going to put for the answer? Yeah, how many? No. You didn't say how many. Cuantos amigos? How many? Can you tell me how many friends? No, because you are, you're not, you are asking. You're. It's an, it's a question. It's not an order. I'm confused. Really, I'm confused. I think you confused yourself, Leah. You confused yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is the answer. Is the answer. If you do it, <laughs> and I, I you see. In the chat. Did you look in the chat? Okay. Can you ask, I think, can you ask Tony? Okay. But, can you ask Tony? Uh-huh, I guess it open. But is that, it's cool. Yes, because you didn't spell correctly, probably the capital letter, or you forgot to put yes. or you put two yes. spaces. That's why I say, I think you Maybe. confused yourself because you said the answer and then you you were going something else. Mm -hmm. But it's good now. Maybe a point or yeah, it's two spaces. Space. But it's, it's good now. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Go ahead. You <laughs> and Heidi continue. Maybe Heidi. Okay. Because Thank Heidi you. is very quiet. Maybe she speaks. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And then we're going to practice turning those questions into indirect thoughts. So let me just uh, uh, write the question here, and then we will uh, turn that into an indirect request. All right, there we go. So uh, let's say, for example, we have the first one. Do you have, uh, Jennifer, do you have a date for the party? So how are we going to change this? Well, first of all, we can either ask with can or could. So we won't be polite. So we won't say could you, right? Could you? And then in this case, we're going to change the verb to ask. Right, could you ask uh, Jennifer if she has a date for the party? All right, so what we did was we added could you, and then we uh, that follows the verb ask, and then that follows the object, Jennifer, and that follows if, all right? Could you ask Jennifer if 
and here is the message that we want to give if she has a date for the party. Notice that we don't include the auxiliary verb in this kind of question. So that will be one way to put it. Another way could be, could you ask Jennifer whether she has a date for the party. That could be another way to do it. And finally, one uh, last way that we want to learn as well is, could you ask Jennifer whether or not questions. Jennifer, where is the party? So how would you change this? You, if you follow this form, you would use something like, could you ask Jennifer where? And remember, this verb is going to be at the end. The party is. And I'd like for you to try to do the same for all of them. So the more you practice, the better. I put next view. Yeah. Hi, everyone. At the beginning of this class, you'll learn how to make indirect requests. So we use indirect. Teacher. Yes, Jocelyn? What is whether, whether or not? That's like if. So whether or not is if yes or no. Uh, okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Jose or Jocelyn? Uh, no, no, not really. Uh, I, I understand the, the topic. Great, and Jocelyn? Yeah. No, teacher, we're watching the videos right now. <laughs> Perfect, excellent. Okay. As I mentioned, let me highlight that in a particular color. I'm gonna go ahead and choose yellow this time. I included Jeff, that's the object, right? So we include Jeff, that's the object. And then I include the WH word. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this in another color just to make sure that we're getting this. All right. When. And then uh, finally, we include the statement, if you will. All right. The, um, and so that's what this is at this point. Let me go ahead and uh, color this in red to make sure that we are understanding this. So um, I want you to notice a couple of things from this. One is that this is a WH question. Uh, and therefore, we need to use the auxiliary does. In this case, this auxiliary disappears, right? So it's no longer going to be present in our indirect request. Uh, the next thing is that because this disappear, the verb also needs to match with the uh, subject, right? So 
because the party is third person this verb needs to have an S as you can see there I'm gonna go ahead and put that in green just to make sure that you can clearly see what's happening so that's what happened in our indirect request um, and um, similar thing happens whenever you do the second one Sophia what time should I pick you up if you notice this is in the form of a question so should I pick you up but whenever we change it to an indirect request the, f the way that we ask is by conti we continue to follow can you ask or could you ask and then it follows the object the object happens to be Sophia then WH where is what time and instead of us saying should I pick you up we say I should pick her up because remember we're giving the message to let's say Sophia's receptionist and what we want to do is we want for her to give her that message so at this point what I want to do is I want to uh, just point out a couple of other questions that are not here and I would like for you to try them out see if you can uh, change this WH questions into indirect questions so, Jennifer where's the part is how would you change this you, if you follow this form you would use something like could you ask Jennifer where and remember any questions it's okay now I can't teacher I'm really confused I compare my I, I share my screen okay it's okay yes okay can you see can you see my screen I can see your screen okay okay here for example um all is bad <laughs> Okay. Here, uh, we think that is if. Could you ask Sophia if Sophia are you going to the party with Jeff? No, but if is bad. You are you are not talking to Sophia. You are talking to me about Sophia. Can you ask? Can you ask Sophia if? Can you ask? But re remember, remember, you don't put, can you ask Sophia? This, the, you only put the answer. You don't copy all, only the answer for the, the dots, the dot, 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 only you put your answer. Yes, uh, can you ask Sophia? Can you ask Sophia? So this part, yeah. Lea, erase. Erase, can you ask Sophia? Sure. No, no, erase, can you ask Sophia? Yes, can you ask Sophia? Okay. Erase that? Uh -huh. There. Okay. What What do you want to ask Sophia, Leah? If going to the party with Jeff. If who is going to the party with Jeff? Who or? No, no. I'm asking you. Who is going to the party with Jeff? Here. Okay. So you are talking to me. You are speaking to Edwin and you want to ask about Sophia. How do you ask? Um... If Sophia going to the no. party? If, well, yes, Sophia. Yeah. If Sophia. If she. If no, no, she. Sophia. No, Sophia, Lea. She. Mm -hmm. And then, no, wait. <laughs> Uh-huh. Okay, so tell me, what happens next? If she, you are missing one word. What is the word you are missing? 
Katie, what, what is the word that is missing? The pronoun. The pronoun is she. Is. So, yes. And the next is is or are. Correct. In the case is is. Okay. She is going to the party. No. Okay. Okay. Check it out. Okay. Now the second here, the number three. Okay. Whether or not he accepted the invitation. So maybe it's a little bit more formal. No can, try could. Who? Could. No, no who, could, remember. In, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> could. <laughs> no, could, see. Okay. Kevin. That's it? Okay. Now here, would you ask Mary? Is similar in the number two? Yeah. Okay. It's not complicated. The problem is for the that you there are different forms. That's why there is the the only put the answer, not only not the complete form. And you have to remember there are different. There is okay. the informal, the can, there's the could, uh, would you mind if you those are you have to try the different forms because there are different levels for informal, a little bit more formal. Okay. 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 I have a problem uh, similar with the test. Uh, I I didn't I I made or I did uh, this part yesterday. That's great. So then you I bet you want to uh, repeat. You and Heidi can finish the part you didn't. Okay. So you and Haley can put in the other parts. No, this part I didn't. Yeah. I finished yesterday this part. Yes, so. Uh, but, uh, sorry? Yes, so if you finish, go to the part you didn't complete. Which part didn't you complete? Okay. I did. Yes, tell me. Hey, can you listen? Hey, can you no. can you give me a answer? The letter okay. A. Okay, thank you. Okay. Teacher, uh, yes. Uh, in the next, uh, do we have to start the midterm? Yes. If if you finish the other exercises, yes. Okay. Okay.
okay thanks you are thanks teacher Guillermo is, is completing. I'm doing the exercise. Okay. A teacher, could you please help with this exercise because uh, we have uh, inconvenience. Yeah. The, the number two teacher and number four, there, there are there are same exercise, but we have inconvenience, inconvenience yes, with, uh, with uh, Sofia and Mario. Yes, because you are asking a question, not, not making a statement. So is if... Could you ask? No, no, you only put the answer. Yeah, but. So if, uh -huh, so, uh -huh, could you ask Sophia if, she, and then what is the question? If, uh, uh, if the, she. Correct. Going if to you. the party with Jeff. What, what if you, uh -huh. she has. If she has. No, there is the verb to be, right? Are you, so what is the verb well, to be for she? She, the verb uh, she has. No, uh, so first you need to put she, because you are talking about Sophia. Yeah, she is. Okay, so, uh huh, you're correct. She is. Okay. If, okay. If she, delete go. Oh, okay. Okay, uh huh. Okay. okay. So, the same for number four. The, the same, same, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. If is he is she is oh, okay. Ah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, of course. Thank you. You're uh, welcome. You're welcome. Good job. Good job. That's easy. You understand quickly. Uh huh. Uh huh. Let me let me write the answer, Eduardo. Okay. If she uh. uh le, le, but could uh, you put back uh, the exercise? Yeah. Uh, let okay. me. Or only copy is is she going is she is going 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 to the party uh -huh. to the party with Jeff with question mark I with Jeff okay okay and the next is is he going <clears throat> If he is going to going to give okay Tony Tony what a gift right yes a gift okay okay ready thank you you are the next okay okay listening okay are you listening? Yes.
Units 1 to 2 quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Thomas. Hi, Bill. Hey, I haven't seen you since you went off to art school. How do you like it? School's great. I have this fantastic painting teacher, Mr. Parks, who is so cool. What do you like about him? Well, he's the kind of teacher who is completely honest in his opinion of our work. And when he criticizes us, he always includes some helpful advice. He sounds like a great teacher. Two. What's wrong, Shelly? No, Martin. Uh, answer, Mr. Park. Yeah, Mr. Park. Okay. This, uh, Mr. Park is completely honest. Okay. I sent a close friend a birthday present two months ago, and she's never thanked me for it. She lives in Germany now, but she could have already received my present. Oh, she probably just hasn't had a chance to write me yet. Mm. You know, it bothers me too when people forget to say thank you. Maybe there's a good reason why she forgot. Why don't you just email her and find out? Why didn't I think of that? I'll do it tonight. Three. Paula, did you find a job for something? It's great. Two. What's wrong, Shelly? No, Martin. No, stop. Answer the two. For me, uh, it bothers Shelly and Martin when people forget. forget. Forget to say thank you. Thank you. Okay. No okay. send a lay birthday card, teacher. Send a lay birthday birthday card. No, my, I I don't know, but when they finish the conversation, uh, Martin. Say, 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 uh, he bothers Repeat. when maybe, may, maybe a push, but push them. <laughs> okay, next. I sent a close friend a birthday present two months ago, and she's never thanked me for it. She lives in Germany now, but she could have already received my present. Oh, she probably just hasn't had a chance to write me yet. You know, it bothers me too when people forget to say thank you. Maybe there's a good reason why she forgot. Why don't you just email her and find out? Why didn't I think of that? I'll do it tonight. Okay, for, forget to oh, say thank did you. Did you find a job for the summer yet? Actually, I found a couple of things, Billy. I just have to decide which one to take. My uncle owns a summer camp, and he said I could spend the summer working as a lifeguard for him. And what's the other one? Well, working as an extra in a new movie. No, you're kidding. It's true. I have a friend. We grow. Yeah. Could you ask Tony? And this one in number three, we have to write the same, but. Oh, yeah, yeah. Him. Yeah, we're, we're talking about, uh, yeah, we have to make a, a, a question to Kevin if I yeah. said to, to Tony, right? Yeah. Yeah. Could you ask? Kevin. Could you ask Kevin? What's wrong? I'm going to put you Yes, that's correct. That's correct. <laughs> and then in the last one, we have to write the compliment, the question that you are going to to ask Mari to ask. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, if, if the, it's the same to the, the second. <laughs> yes. It's the same one. Yeah, Mario, if Mario are going to give ten mm -hmm. If Mario. If Mario. No, it, no, it's not Mario. It's if he. Uh -huh. If he. 
if we are going to give no if he hello is going uh hello pedro how are you <laughs> is that three point three point twelve uh twelve yes three point twelve okay if he's going to give yeah the question, the question. <laughs> yes <laughs> question oh my god what happened uh, try to to write the t of tony in capital letter maybe all right um. ah you you wrote tony with double n Delete one end in Tony. Mm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Here you have. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Julie. Okay. Okay, are there any questions? Uh, anybody that is still a little confused or not clear how to use them? When a teacher, when, I, I, I don't understand very well, but when I can use tell or ask, when? Tell is to inform, ask is to get information. What, sorry? Because ask are questions. Uh-huh. So, you ask, ask, so when you ask something, you you get information. Uh -huh. Tell is when you give information, like a boss. Uh -huh. Finish the report. Tell Eduardo to finish the report. Not uh -huh. ask Eduardo because it's not a request; it's an order. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. So remember, ask. Is because it's a question. You are going to receive information. Tell you are not going to receive information. You are only giving information. Uh huh. Okay. Any other questions? Remember, when we use the indirect questions, the idea is you are not speaking to the person. I am not speaking to George. I am not speaking to Haiti. I have to ask Jose to ask or tell George. I have to ask Lucia to ask or tell Haiti. So for this is indirect. So I don't say, I, I, if I am talking to Lucia, I don't say, hey, uh, what time is the party? No, I have to say, Lucia, can you ask Haiti what time the party is? Now, if it's a just no question, is with if. Um, Jocelyn, are you going to the party? This is direct. But if I ask Jose, Jose, ask Jocelyn if she is going to the party. Okay. I recommend that if it's confusing, go back and watch the videos, all of the videos with the if or with the weather. So, if you are having difficulties with it, take your time. It's okay. Go back, watch the videos, practice the exercises again. See if you understand the pattern. The idea for the pattern is the same. Is can, could, uh, these are the main questions that we ask and then the, the question, okay? Okay. Okay. Remember, finish unit three because on Monday we begin unit four. So finish the midterm and on Monday, oof, already only eight days to finish. Okay. 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 All right. Have a great weekend. Okay. okay. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye.